Hello, this is Rita Holmes, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up. I'm coming to you today with a mounting tip for the old type of Stampin' Up stamps. Um, I did this as a tip on one of my fa my Facebook pages, and um, one of my friends um, sent me a message later and said she saw it a little bit easier to um, do by a girl named Angie Leach. So I'm going to give her credit for this. And I uh, thank Dana Campbell for giving me the um, ups on that. So I kind of just did a little bit of both. And here is um, the technique or the tip that I want to show you. Um, if many of you are familiar with Stampin' Up! Stamps, you now know that they do come with a clean back that makes them stick to your acrylic block really well. And you have to just peel them off. And it... Um, Makes it so much easier to work with and to stamp with. You don't have to worry about um, them coming off when you're trying to stamp. And then here is one of our older stamp sets, Artesian um, Textures. And I'm going to take one of the stamps and show you how to make it a clean mount stamp. Because when you put them on there, see what I mean? They fall off. You can't get them to hardly stay unless you press and press and press. And then once you're stamping a couple times, then it will tend to want to come off. And that can be disastrous. So I used to always put some snail adhesive on my acrylic block and then add it to it. Then these would get all sticky. I'd have to use Goo Gone and clean my block. So this is a much easier way that I want to show you. And what you need to have is the negative from these images that are sticky when um, you mount your image onto your stamp you want to save that negative part to add to these stamps and I'm going to show you exactly why you need to do that what you would want to do is snip a piece and you want to get into this negative area because that's going to be how you lift off the paper and that was Angie Leach's um, tip I took from her to do this and what you want to do is you want to take peel that off attach it to your acrylic block and make sure it's down good and then you just want to peel the end up and therefore if you can see that you have the sticky onto your block now what you're going to do is you're going to take your stamp you're going to put that down on the block. You're going to press really hard to get that on there and peel it up. And therefore, if you have a little bit too much, I didn't cut that exactly right, you can trim it. Doesn't hurt. And uh, so when you put that on your acrylic block, you can see that it sticks for when I turn this over, you can see it peel away from the block. You have no sticky mess, therefore you have your stamp mounted where you can put it in your case. It's not going to do what these do. It's going to stay in place. Um, so, I know that probably most people don't save these negatives. From here on out, though, when you buy from Stampin' Up, save your negatives. Do your old stamps that way, and they're going to be much easier to work with, and you're not going to dread getting them out and... Um, making a card with them. So again, my name is Rita Holmes. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And um, I have a Facebook page, which is Stamp Crazy VIP, that you're welcome to join. I show other videos there and cards and just trying to get... Um, my page going again. I also have um, Stamp Crazy with Rita Holmes on YouTube that um, I transfer my videos onto. And I have a website, www.ritaholmes.stampinup.net, which is my business website that you can see the catalog and order from. If you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to, to be a demonstrator for you and help you in any way so you can contact me in any of those three ways and I'd be happy to to talk with you so for now this is all I have and you guys have a good day bye